and that really helps to like kind of plump up your skin. Why am I searching everywhere for a tinted sunscreen when I have that? So I did my makeup and put a couple curls in my hair. to my channel my name is Kayla if you're new here and today's video is my college morning routine so um, I woke up and I like to lay out my workout clothes the night before and put them on first thing because then it's harder to talk myself out of going to the gym so I put those on and make my bed and then I make my breakfast I pretty much have the same breakfast almost every day so I make that and then sit down for my first Zoom class of the day. And that just got over. So now I am going to go to the campus rec and work out. I use the FitBod app and I separate it. So it's like upper body one day, lower body the next day. So today is a lower body day for me. So I'm going to go do that and I'll um, bring you guys along with me but yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get into it okay kind of random but I've been using the native um, toothpaste I also really like the crest 3d white toothpaste and then the electric toothbrush I use is this quip um, I have it in the gold and I used to use the Philips like electric toothbrush, but I hated how like big and bulky it was and you had to have the charging station and all the cords and everything. And it was just like really inconvenient to travel with. So I got this about a year ago and I've been loving it ever since. Um, every You just sign up when you get it and then every three months they just send you a new little brush head and a new battery to go inside of it. So, and it's only five bucks every three months, and I think I honestly have a code I can put down below um, to get your first, um, like, little brush head and battery free. So, I'll put that down below, but yeah, I've been really liking this. It's just a lot more convenient and honestly a lot cuter <laughs> and takes up less space. So, yeah, that was kind of random, but that is what I've been loving for my toothbrush lately.
I just hopped out of the shower. I try to only wash my hair about once, maybe twice a week. So I did not wash my hair, but in the shower, I just used this Necessaire body wash. It is fragrance free. And then I use the Aveeno Calm and Restore Cleanser. So that is what I used in the shower. And then right when I get out, I've been really liking this moisturizer for in the mornings because it has hyaluronic acid in it. And that really helps to like kind of plump up your skin, make it appear like more smooth. So I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost and I make sure to get the fragrance free kind. So I've been liking this in the mornings. So I will just take a little bit of this. and massage this into my face. I also really like it for under my eyes because again with that hyaluronic acid it kind of plumps it up a little bit and makes your eyes look not so tired. So then I will go in with the Tula Rose Glow and Get It Brightening Eye Balm like this. I just got this not too long ago and at first I wasn't sure about it. I didn't know that I noticed that much of a difference but I do really like um, it's kind of like a cooling effect and I feel like it helps with puffiness a little bit in the mornings and it does give it a little bit of a glow under my makeup so I have been liking this for in the mornings. And then if I am not wearing makeup that day, I will go in with the Biosense um, Mineral Sunscreen and just use this all over my face and neck. But I am going to be putting on a little bit of makeup today um, because I want to film a TikTok. So I will show you guys my kind of everyday makeup routine in a sec. But this is what I would use if I wasn't wearing makeup for the day. So then... For body lotion, I've been liking the Necessaire body lotion. I also have this in Fragrance Free, and I've really been liking this. It's such a creamy, nice consistency, and I have really sensitive skin, so it doesn't irritate it at all. Um, so yeah, I've been really liking this for after the showers. I'll show you kind of what it looks like. It's just a nice creamy consistency, super hydrating. I also really like using this before I self tan. I find that it makes my tan go in a lot smoother and less streaky. So um, especially I'll put it everywhere over my body and then I'll put a little extra like on my elbows and knees, kind of the spots that might get a little splotchy. And I find that has been helping so much. But the self tan I use is the Saint Tropez, Trope, Saint Tropez. And I have it in the tanning or in the bronzing mousse. And then I also just use the little mitt that it comes with. And I've been applying this about once a week. And then for my face, I've been using the Isle of Paradise um, drops in the medium and just mixing it into my moisturizer. I do about two little drops um, about once a week. And yeah, that's what I've been doing for my tanning lately and I've really been liking it. But yeah, so I'm gonna put this moisturizer on and then I will show you what I do for my hair and makeup. Okay, so when I don't wanna wear any makeup at all, I'll just wear that clear sunscreen from Biosense. But when what I've been doing lately is I've been searching everywhere for the perfect, like I wanted, I wanted like a tinted little sunscreen, um, something just super quick to throw on. Um, and I wanted it to be a mineral sunscreen because I have super sensitive skin as opposed to like the chemical sunscreens. So I've tried so many, but I feel like all of them were like drying my skin out or weren't really high SPFs. I was finding like SPFs like 20 and 30s and I wanted a higher SPF than that. And I just wasn't loving any. So I was like, why am I searching everywhere for a tinted sunscreen when I have the a Cosmetic CC Cream? And this is what I use for like my full coverage foundation. But what I've been doing lately is just taking like a, like a half a pump and putting it on my little Real Technique sponge. And this is SPF 50, so it's like the highest SPF out of all the tinted moisturizers I've been trying out. So I'll just put a tiny bit on my beauty blender and just 
make sure it covers, um, I just do a super thin layer, but make sure it covers my entire face. And then I will just go in, so I'll just do that. And then I'll just go in and kind of brush my eyebrows out a little bit and then curl my lashes. So, and it, it doesn't need any powder or anything on it. It sits really nicely, it looks really dewy, but not too greasy. So that is what I've been doing for just like a really light um, kind of makeup look. It just offers like a tiny bit of coverage and kind of smooths everything out a little bit. So that is what I've been doing a lot lately. But today I'm actually going to do um, a little bit more makeup because I want to um, do some filming. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to speed through that because I think I want to do a full video dedicated to my everyday makeup routine because I have been using some products lately that I've really been loving. So I'm just going to speed through that and let's get into it. So I did my makeup and put a couple curls in my hair and then I'm just wearing this Acta little crew neck. I will link it down below but yeah I think that is going to be it for today's college morning routine. I think now I'm just going to do some work here and then probably go study on campus um, this afternoon. I am going to be posting a Shein try like try on haul on my TikTok. So go follow me there if you aren't already. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more kind of college routine videos. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.